What's up everybody? In today's quick tip series of Heroes of the Storm, I'm going to show you a little trick how you can self-cast spells onto your own hero and how you can change the hotkeys to do that. In Heroes of the Storm, it's possible to cast a lot of spells onto your own hero. Heals are a very good example for that, or activate all the talents like Cleanse and Protective Shield. In order to do that, all you have to do is hold down the Alt key and then press the hotkey of the talent that you want to cast on your own hero. It will immediately happen and you don't have to use your mouse to actually target the hero. That is extremely useful, especially when you're in the big team fight and you want to immediately heal yourself, supply yourself with a Protective Shield to save yourself and then get out of the battle and continue the fight. Knowing about this little trick is already extremely useful. But there are a lot of players out there that are not really comfortable with using the Alt key for that and would like to change that hotkey. There's of course a hotkey option in the play game itself already that you can use to adjust a lot of the hotkeys, but the self-cast is not one of them. And there's a particular reason for that. In the game, there is no hotkey for the self-cast, but instead what Heroes of the Storm does is that you can just assign a certain key combination to self-casting a particular spell. For example, self-casting spell number one, number two, number three, or number four, and the same goes for the talents. A self-cast hotkey for talent number one and a self-cast hotkey for talent number two. To change those hotkeys, all that you have to do is you go to the options menu in Heroes of the Storm and the first thing that we're doing here is we are creating a hotkey profile. So you go to options, you go to hotkey and you create a new profile and you just save that. You don't have to change anything there just yet, that comes in the next step. In our next step, we're going to open that hotkey file that you just created. It should be located under Documents, Heroes of the Storm, Accounts, then the account number that you have, and there should be a separate folder that's called Hotkey that includes the file. You simply open that with a notepad, and it should look something like this. In the hotkey file, we can now change the hotkeys for our skills and also for self-casting these skills with a pretty simple command. The one thing that you have to keep in mind is that those skills are called command buttons and the command buttons are numbered in a certain way. So Q would be command button 00, where we have W on command button 01, E on command 002 and of course our R which is our heroic ability on command button 03. And that's kind of the principle that we're running through here. So the keys are just simply numbered. In order to change the key for Q, all that you have to do is you put in command button 00 equals and then the hotkey you would like to use. In our case, that would, for example, be the standard Q. When we're talking about self-casting that particular skill, then we would put in the command command button self 00 equals and then, for example, shift Q instead of alt Q. So we're just simply changing the hotkey combination slightly. The same goes on if we want to try and just change the hotkeys for the W. So we would go, just follow through after the same pattern here. The graphic should make it a bit easier to understand, but I think you probably already got the gist of how exactly this works. If we're not only talking about our skills and the self-casting of the skills, but we're talking about readjustment of the activatable talents and the self-cast hotkeys for those, then the command changes slightly. Instead of command buttons, we're talking about inventory buttons now. So the command to change our first activatable talent to another hotkey would be inventory button use zero equals and then the hotkey that you would like to have. The standard assignment would be one. For the self-casting, it's pretty simple. You actually have to just to add self at the end of the command, but before the number. So in our case, this would be inventory button use self zero equals and then the hotkey combination that you want to go for. In our example, this would now be shift and one instead of alt and one. So we're just simply switching all those alt commands over to shift commands. And therefore we have a new hotkey for self-casting. You probably need to play around with this a bit, but it's actually quite easy once that you grasp the logic behind it. Once that you're done with all your hotkey setups, you just simply save the file and you jump back into the game. You should make sure before you start the next game that there are no hotkey conflicts with other commands that the game already uses. You can once again do that by going to the options and the hotkeys menu. But when you're done with all of that, there's just nothing stopping you from jumping into your next Heroes of the Storm game and just using those hotkeys. I hope that you learned something today. If you did, Give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to Color TV. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of the Quick Tips videos here on Color TV. Bye bye.